Our goal is to have a lab on a chip which we can use in the field. So the technology is very simple. Last summer when we went to Africa, we saw a strong need for extremely simple devices that we can use anywhere with a very small amount of infrastructure. So for example, we are aiming at uh, sleeping sickness. This is a fatal disease. The idea is to essentially take a drop of blood from a patient analyze this uh, droplet of blood in the way that we separate the different components of the blood. Uh, we, we separate out, for example, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and any parasites in the blood. You essentially put a drop of blood in one end of the device, and then you allow this uh, blood to go through the device. The different components are separated into different reservoirs, and if the patient has, a, has an illness, the pathogens will wind up in one of the uh, reservoirs uh, dedicated for that uh, specific pathogen. The device is unique in such a way that it takes into account not only size, which is fairly common in these type of devices, but also shape and deformability. And this opens up for applications in parasitology where we are uh, looking for parasites with shape that differs significantly from the normal cells in the bloodstream. Then we can use existing technology to observe these parasites using cell phones. There's a group in California who has developed a cell phone based microscope that we can employ for our devices to observe the parasites. And once we have done that, we can send the image to a central facility for diagnosis.